أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله الطاهرين وعلى أصحابه وعلى جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله We know that at the time of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم the sword was a device used to withstand the attacks of the enemies and also an instrument to defend oneself. And by the way, it could be the last instrument in your possession. And not only that, it may be your final companion if you die in battle. So if anything is inscribed upon the sword of a person, and specifically if you have something inscribed at your request, then those words inscribed on that sword is extremely valuable to the person. In fact, it is most significant for that person. And what do you think was written on the sword of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam? It is documented in the Mu'jam of Ibn Arabi. An Ali qala lamma anzamma ilayhi silahahu ya'ni nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam qal wajaddu fi dhu'abati aw ilaqati sayfi thalathata ahruf. Sayyidina Ali said, when I was entrusted with the sword of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I found engraved on the sword three statements. Sil man qata'ak wa qul al-haq wa law ala nafsik wa ahsin ila man asa'a ilayk. The three points are, maintain relations with your relatives even if they cut off relations with you. Speak the truth, even if it's against your own self. And be good, even to those who are not good to you. This was inscribed on the sword of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. So as we continue our theme for this Ramadan, Darus Amiqa Min As Sirat Al Nabawiya, profound lessons from the life of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we reflect on a teaching moment in the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that amalgamates the advice we find on the sword regarding maintaining family ties, being good to your relatives, and the example we are going to give encapsulates what was inscribed on the sword of the Prophet. And this is documented in the incident that occurred, it is documented in the Sunan of Imam Tirmidhi. A lady came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and she told the Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, when I go and visit my relatives, they belittle me because I embraced Islam. They are nasty to me and they treat me with contempt. Ya Rasulullah, they are now coming to visit me. When they come, shall I treat them the way they treat me when I go to them? Shall I treat them when they come to me the way they treat me when I go to them? And the Rasul said these famous words, لا تكونوا إما يقولون إن أحسن الناس أحسننا وإن ظلموا ظلمنا ولكن وطنوا أنفسكم إن أحسن الناس أن تحسنوا وإن أساءوا فلا تظلموا. رسول الله تقول the lady, don't be rude nor impolite. Don't say things like, if others treat us well, we will treat them well. And if they treat us badly, we will treat them badly. Rather condition yourself, accustom your, your nature in such a way that you do good to other people who do good to you and do not do wrong to those who do wrong to you. This heartwarming reply of the Prophet وسلم, reflects what was inscribed on his sword about relationship and about being good even to those who are not good to you. But this emanates from the Quranic advice documented in Surah Fussilat. Where Allah says, وَلَا تَسْتَوِي الْحَسَنَةُ وَلَا السَّيِّئَةُ إِدْفَعَ بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنُ فَإِذَا الَّذِي بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ عَدَاوَةٌ كَأَنَّهُ وَلِيٌّ حَمِيمٌ Good actions and bad actions can never be equal. Rather, repel the wrong or the bad with something better. In such a manner, in such a manner, that between you and whom there was animosity, you could end up 
as though you were close friends. You see, the lesson in this for all of us, be good to all, not only good to those who are good to you. Be good to your relatives, to your friends, to whoever, not because of how they treat you, but because the way you treat them is a reflection of your character. And displaying good character is the right thing to do. And the right thing to do is always the best thing to do. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.